Lori Shaw with Renaissance Periodization, and today I'm gonna demo a recipe out of my cookbook, Big Flavor Zero Fat. And this is salt and vinegar smashed potatoes. So we, and this is gonna be made in the air fryer. So we are huge air fryer fans, and I know a lot of you are too. I get that question a lot. Are you gonna do an air fryer cookbook? Maybe someday, it's on the ideas list. Um, but I tried to work some of them into the different cookbooks that I do. And this is one of our favorite ones. There's not gonna be any fat in this recipe, but you're still gonna get like a crunchy fried potato feeling when you're eating these. So it's amazing. Highly recommend you check out the air fryers. So, all right, this is something that like I was in my, you know, I'm always like, I go to the grocery store and look around at things, you know, like other people shop for clothes or shoes or whatever. I shop for food and new food and new products and different things. And so, I was in the produce section and I saw these pop up just like right with the regular raw potatoes and stuff. These pre-made, um, and they're like the petite little potatoes. And they're, they have the microwave ready ones or they have the oven ready ones. So of course, I'm always looking for something that's quick and easy. Um, so I got the microwave ready ones. So I will cook them for five minutes. I'll take them out. I'll put them on a paper towel lined rack like this, just on my countertop. So there's airflow underneath and let them cool for like anywhere from 20 minutes to like an, it doesn't matter. You can just leave them. You can just do it in the morning and leave them for an hour or more, or leave them until lunch or whatever you want. It's okay, as long as they're cool, that's what you're looking for. Then just put them on some type of a line tray, parchment line, foil line, just from a mess standpoint, because we're gonna use this malt vinegar and we're gonna brush them and so it's gonna kind of make a mess. So just from a cleanup standpoint, I like to just put something down. But you're going to take the bottom of like a one cup measure and we're just gonna smash these. So I'll do one out here so you can see it, just in case you can't see it over that rimmed sheet. But that's all you're gonna do is smash it. And here's the thing with it, the thicker you leave them, the softer they'll be or the longer you're gonna have to air fry them to get them crisp. Nick at our house, Nick loves them crispy. So he's like flatten them, like smash them really good. So again, like he doesn't mind if they fall apart like this. Um, we like to smash them pretty flat. So that's all you're gonna do is take the cooked potatoes and just go around and smash them. And they smash really easy and there's no steam coming out of these. So I know I got them really good and dry, which is perfect. You can certainly start with raw potatoes and just steam them um, so that they're tender and then just let them cool. This to me is just like a huge time saver. So I love using those packaged ones. All right, so we're done with that. And then I've got malt vinegar here, which again, you know, some balsamics and things like that actually do have carbs in them. So you kind of have to be aware of that if you're on a really strict cut and you like to put a ton of balsamic on a salad or something, you actually are getting some carbs in there. So you just want to be aware of that. So I kind of figured malt vinegar tastes so good. I thought like, oh, there's probably sugar in it or something. Turns out there's not. So I'm just taking a brush and I'm just gonna get these kind of soaked in malt vinegar. I'm sprinkling this with coarse salt now, and then I'm just gonna transfer these to the air fryer basket. You can see I'm just putting these guys in. It doesn't have to be really nice placement. We're gonna be in here every 10 minutes shaking and stirring and checking on them. But the more of an even layer we can do, uh, you know, the better they'll crisp up, the quicker and stuff like that. So I just try to do a layer. Okay. So we got those ready to go. I'm just gonna put them in the air fryer and I'm gonna air fry them for 10 minutes and then I'll show you what they look like when I give them a stir with a wooden spoon. All right, so these babies have been in for 10 minutes. You see, they're starting to get crispy. You can see some brown edges there. Yum. Okay, so it'll stick a little bit. Totally fine. Go in there. That's what the every 10 minutes shake and stir is all about, is that you break those back up, kind of spread them out, and then we're just gonna take that malt vinegar and add more. All right, so let's check these guys out. You can see they're nice and browned and crispy. I'm gonna scrape them up. So it did end up taking us 30 minutes um, just to get them to the right crispiness, but it's worth it. And all you have to do is just swing by every 10 minutes and check on them. And these are ready to eat. 
Totally addicting, crunchy snack with no fat. Thank you.